All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukai Kadash, Devil Adder, to the Hells of Prophet Great Mills, Stone Who Told Me the Truth and Rule Well, Peace, Blessing and Salutation, I come out there, scatter about the four corners of the earth, that's serving the truth, not true sincerity. So I say Shalom. This is the button of Bala, come to another video in the spirit. And the top of this video is going to be about how this, this truth is not for financial gain. You know, which part this video topic was. <laughs> Recently, the video came out of a Sakari member basically charging charging for breakdowns and charging for Hebrew names, okay? And that just showing you the spirit that those men in Sakari are in, man. You know, they're not in this thing to sincerely feed the flock, okay? They're in this thing for what? To make money. Okay, they looked at this thing as an opportunity thing to what to make some money, man. And that's not what this truth is about. Okay, this truth is about first learning who you are, learning what the true names of the Heavenly Father are. Okay, turning from turning from your wicked ways and turning to the Lord and turn and start serving the Lord. Shai. And after that, then you start after you start learning and building yourself up this wisdom and knowledge, you start teaching. And when you start teaching, you don't go out here and charge, you know, for the truth. OK, because when you learned this wisdom and knowledge, understanding you wasn't charged for it. It was given to you freely. OK, so then that's the same. That's the same way you're supposed to do. OK, there's a. um. They got there's a saying. In the word, in the saying in the word given, you should receive. So you give your time to the truth. OK, you receive what you receive wisdom and knowledge and understanding once you receive it out, you're supposed to give it back so others can receive it because it was given to you freely. OK, you're not supposed to be out here trying to profit off of the truth, man, because that's not how that's that's just going off, man. That's complete wickedness, man. We're already in captivity. We're already <coughs> to like you. We're already subject to payments in this place, man. Jake already got enough things that they have to put their money towards too. And then you're adding another basically bill or expense, you know, for your own financial gain. Not not to sincerely help Jake out. You know, it'd be different if, you know, it was it was in the benefit of Jake. And of course you're gonna say it's the benefit because they're they're um they're learning. No. Is is you're you're not supposed to be charging for this truth, period, man. Okay, this is supposed to be the scripture's talking about charity. Okay. You're supposed to be charitable in this thing. Okay, that goes into charity about to, to how you treat brothers, being charitable to brothers. But also, the greatest charity we can give is is doing the work of your Yahweh Shemiah Shai freely, man. So I'm going to get into the scriptures. This is First Peter 3 and 15. It says, But sanctify the Lord Yahweh in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that ask, asketh you a reason of hope that is in you with meekness and fear. It says, be ready to always give an answer to every man. So if you're asked a question or asked uh, a breakdown or anything you're asked, you're supposed to be ready to give an answer. You're not supposed to be like, oh, okay, well, if you want that answer, um, it's going to cost you uh, $10, it's going to cost you 15 or it's, you know, you're not supposed to pit no price, you know, when somebody's at, um, coming to you with a sincere question. OK, even even when heathens walk up, heathens walk up and they they may ask you a question. You still answer them. OK, if it's on your spirit to do so. OK, but you're not charging n nobody, you know, for this wisdom and knowledge and understanding, man. That's going off, bro. And the Lord's going to deal with the Lord's going to deal with them. That's doing that. He's going to deal with Sakari, man. Cause you're trying to profit off the Lord, bro, and you're not supposed to be doing that. I'm gonna come over here. This is First Peter's five and two. It says, "Feed the flock of Yahweh, which is among you." <coughs> so lucky. Hold on, so lucky. You drink some water. Throw a little dry. So lucky. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to read it over. 
This is First Peter 5 and 2. It says, Feed the flock of Yahweh, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for fear, filthy lucre, but ready of mind, kind. So not for filthy lucre. The scripture's talking about the root of money is all evil. Okay? So, you're doing this for filthy lucre, bro. You're supposed to be doing this thing willingly, man. You're supposed to be, you're supposed to be happy that you're able to be out here. You know, the Lord set you up as a teacher and you're able to teach. Because ultimately, what is that doing? Yahweh decided that, that what we're teaching is reaching the elect. And that helps us get closer and closer to elect being, see, being sealed. Okay. So it's like, you doing this filthy lucre is you being self-willed, man. You know, you doing your own thing instead of doing the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And when you go against the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, basically you're going, against, you're going against him. You're bucking up against the order that he set up. You're bucking against the words that he spake. And that basically makes you what? An enemy of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And he's going to plead with you. Okay, there you go. It's so like it. I quoted it wrong. That's why I want to grab it just to make sure. It says, For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some co co coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Yeah. The love of money is the root of all evil. Okay? <laughs> because what? It says they have erred from, from faith. They've erred from faith. I mean, what? They base, they end, basically, you're going to end up falling away, man. You're going to end up falling out. Because what? You're worried about chasing the bag more than serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And the scriptures talk about you can't serve two masters. Okay, matter of fact, let me grab that. This is uh, Matthew 6 and 24. It says, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve your Yahweh and Mammon. And that Mammon is talking about money, man. Okay, you can't serve your Yahweh and you can't serve money. Okay? And that's that's the way that this world teaches you to be, <laughs> to chase the bag, to get the bag, man. To try to find any type of way to profit off of anything. And that's not how you're supposed to be, especially when it comes to this ministry, bro. When it comes to this ministry, you're supposed to be just freely given when it comes to this wisdom and knowledge and understanding, man. Because that's what the Lord told us to do. Matter of fact, let me grab that. This is a Proverbs 23 and 23. <coughs> it's a lucky. It says, buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. Yeah. It says, buy the truth and sell it not. Okay. That don't mean physically buy it. Okay. How are you buying it? You're buying it with your time. Okay. You're buying it by giving your time to, to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because that's all the Lord requires. He requires your time. You know, he requires your diligence, man. That's that's it. All this all this thing takes is time. You know, once you find out what to give me time and effort, your effort, that's all it takes. So you bought this thing with your time, with your effort, you know, that zeal that you had. You know, and you start putting forth an effort towards your how about shy. So once you once you put forth that effort and the Lord allowed the Rakakadash to, to 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 deal with you, it started to open you up to this wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Like it says in Amos three and seven, surely the Lord will do nothing but reveal his secrets to the servants of prophets. The Lord start revealing these secrets unto you. 
and then you was able to, you know, understand, you know, understand the breakdowns. Then you supposed to, you supposed to give back. You're not supposed to. Oh, okay. This is how I got it. So I got this now, and I'm gonna charge others for it. Man, that's a wicked, wicked way of thinking, man. And the Lord is all I can say is, man, the Lord is gonna deal with you niggas for that. Let me grab this. This is uh Psalms 143 and one. It says a psalm of David. Hear my prayer. So <coughs> like it. It says, Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplications, and thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness. And there you go. We want the Lord to answer us. When we pray to the Lord, we want the Lord to hear our prayers and to answer us. What freely. Okay? So if if we want the Lord to do that for us, and that's what the Lord does, therefore the Lord doesn't charge us, man. The Lord gonna say, I mean, we pay our tithes to the to the to apostles because that's what we're commanded to do. The scriptures talk about paying tithes. But when it comes to Yahweh Shimon Al Shah, man, we don't there first of all, there's nothing we can offer to the Lord that he's gonna accept. Nothing carnally we can offer to the Lord that we that, that he's gonna accept. Okay, if the Lord is dealing with you, okay, he's going to answer your prayers. He's going to answer you. He may require you to to do certain things, which is what probably, you know, the things that we're commanded to do, which is fast, pray, you know, give diligence, you know, truly seeking him, serving him in all true sincerity. Those things don't cost no money. Those things don't cost anything. Those are attributes that you should be doing. And if we're doing those things, then what the Lord is going to open things up to? He's going to He's going to answer us. Okay, because you can't just be doing nothing and think you're going to receive something. No, it doesn't work like that. The Lord works in balance. If you're doing your part, the Lord is going to do His part. But but the ultimate point is 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 free. The Lord answers us with uh, no charge, free 99. So that's the same way we have to be when it comes to dealing with these people in the world. When it comes to dealing with other Jake, when it comes to dealing with other Israelites. When it comes to dealing with this ministry, man. That's how we're supposed to be. Freely we got, so freely we're going to give. Let me grab this. This is Jew. This is John 2 and 13. It says, And the Jews Passover was at hand, and Yahweh went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changer and the changers of money sitting. <coughs> And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple and and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers of money and overthrew the tables. Yeah, Yahweh shy when he went to the temple and he seen them doing those things, he was pissed. He grabbed uh like small cords and started whooping their ass with it. Was driving them out of the temple, man. It was overthrowing tables. He was pissed because they was doing that. Because you're not supposed to be doing that. And then this is this is the time of the Passover. And it's it's funny how we're entering to the Passover right now and look what just came out. Look what just came out. That just, that shows you that there's nothing new under the sun, man. The same thing that they were doing back then, they're doing the same things today, bro. And most likely. Those are the same men back then that were doing those things. Okay? So Yahweh Shah was pissed at that. You don't think the Lord is even more pissed at that now? It says, And he said unto them that so does, Take these things hence, make not my father's house a house of merchandise. Yes. Do not make this thing a house of merchandise, man. This is not that. 
Okay. You got you they selling their t shirt fringes, man. They selling starter kits. <clears throat> I heard that to stand on the other side of the line of Sakari to be a prospect is twenty dollars a month. It's twelve months in a year. So you looking at let me let me do this. Yeah. You looking at two forty a year. Two forty a year just to be standing on the other side of the line. And uh, the brother made a good point. He said when he found about the truth, he was in high school. You know, he didn't have a job. You know, he wasn't paying no bills, nothing like that. He was just a youngin'. So say someone who d is someone in high school comes up to you and wants to learn, you're gonna charge them twenty dollars a month? That's madness, man. And that's wicked as hell. And the Lord is going to, all I can say is the Lord is going to deal with you for doing that. I'm going to grab this last scripture. This is Titus 1 and 7. It says, for a bishop must be blameless as a steward of Yahweh, not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine nor striker not given to filthy lucre but lover of hospitality man a lover of good man sober just holy temperate holding fast the favor word as he had been taught that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers for their are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who serve her whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Yeah, at the day, it's all about money, man. It's all about money. They out here scattering the flock, leading the flock to the slaughter, man, all for money. And that's why the Lord is going to deal with you, man, because you're out here scattering the flock, you're leading. We're leading our people astray. Well, we're in the time of trying, trying to wake the nation of Israel up, man. You putting them back to sleep. And you making this thing something that what it's not. And then you're turning, you're basically turning Jake off to this thing. When it's time, when you're supposed to be turning Jake on to this thing. You're, you're, you're creating confusion. You're creating division. You're creating all of these things. When we're out here trying to fish for the elect. Okay. Ultimately, all these things are happening because the Lord allows it to, but you're not making it no easier. You're not you're not adding no value to the ministry, man. You're actually trying to destroy the ministry. You're trying to you're fucking up the foundation, man. You can go back in history when it comes to the brothers in GMS. They have not charged nobody for for nothing that had to do with this truth. They didn't charge people for breakdowns when when the, when the apostles were um are um approached they're not saying you got to pay me this for for this they'll tell you exactly how it is they give it to you straight so that's just showing you man the type of men that are over there in sakari they're not in this thing for the saving of their selves. They're not in this thing for the say for the salvation of Israel, man. They're in this thing to make a quick buck. When all when we understand that all this money's not gonna be nothing anyway, they're gonna be done away with the dollar. So after that, then what? You done did all this for nothing at the end of the day. So yeah, man. Just wanted to go into this topic, man, since that was something that came out. You know, aware, aware of Sakari, man, and aware of these other counts, man. The the men who have the 100% truth is the men of GMS. So cleave unto the men of GMS and so to get that proper wisdom and knowledge, understanding, and get the proper breakdowns. So, Lord, when this video is edifying, I'm going to close out by giving our praise to Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Rukai, Kadash, Shalom.